Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Divi in itself is a fantastic theme. It just keeps getting better and better. I've designed so many sites with it over the years. It's just crazy. Um, and if you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you take a look at it. You can take it for a test drive from my affiliate link below this video. Today, we're going to be using a free plugin. And the plugin's called Divi Supreme Modules. And if you go to your dashboard, to your plugins, just simply hit Add New and put the word Supreme in there and hit enter it'll come up right there Divi Supreme modules and like I say it's free mine's already active because I've got it installed on this site but that's the plugin we'll be using for this video today today we're going to build this price list or this menu that we've got going on here using the price list module it's great I mean you can as you can see it make a great restaurant if you're building a restaurant site it would make a great restaurant menu or for any product actually, you could integrate it quite easily with WooCommerce by linking these images and the prices to WooCommerce products if you wanted to. Uh, very easy to do and I think it's quite eye-catching. So let's get started. First I'm going to enable the Visual Builder and I'm using the awesome Divi theme here, obviously because it's a Divi plugin. Okay, let's go down to where we were. What I want to do is I'll move this one out of the way. Move it out, up here somewhere, get it out of the way, and we'll start from scratch. That That's just a simple text block that I've got there with a, a menu and some handwriting type font going on. We'll use that font for our heading here. OK, so let's hit the plus to add a new module. And go down to our Supreme modules down here. And the one we want today is the price list. And it's right there. It's a bit like a slider. You've got to add the items that you want. Each of these is an item. So let's hit the plus button and add a new item. And as you can see, I'll move this over to the side. This is the generic what goes in there at first. So you don't have to have an image. OK, let's have a look at the text. Well, price. I can't remember what we had up here. New York Strip, eighteen ninety nine. And the actual styling of the text and the pricing we do in, in when we saved our modules afterwards. And the title uh, was New York Strip. I've got a little text, little text notepad here with my descriptions in there, just to save me writing it all out again, save a bit of time. I'm sure, you don't want to sit there and watch me typing. And in the content is where you put the description. Now the image, if you want an image, let's click on the image. It's like any other module, just add your image. And there's my stake image. And you can do all kinds of different styles. Perhaps if you're selling a shirt or something that needed a bigger picture, that would be great for that. Um, but for our purposes today, we're going to make it a little more decorative and a little smaller. So that's the basis of what we want there. Let's actually style that now. If we look in design on the design tab in the middle. If we click on the image, there's only so much we can do at this point with it. So I'm going to slide that back so we've got it smaller size. Something like that, maybe a little bit bigger. 
gap spacing is the actual space between the image and where the text starts. So it's 25 pixels at the moment. You can make it larger or smaller if you want to. 25 is about right, I think. Or even 26, that'll work fine. You can just type the value in here if you want to, or you can go up and down with these little arrows to get it spot on where you want it. Now this is where I'm gonna make the image round. And to make it round, I've, I'm going to give it a border radius of 50%. Not 50 pixels, but 50%. 50 pixels will get it pretty close. But you do yours exactly how you want. And once you've put one in there, if you hit the little link icon there, it'll do the rest of the corners for you. So we've now got a nice little round image there. And this one up here, again, it's up to you. I gave it a little border there of a couple of pixels. I think it was perhaps two. There's one, there's two. Gee, that one pixel dark looks quite nice, but I'll do it the same as I did before, which is a couple of pixels, and I think I made it blue. And I think I'll give it this drop shadow right there. There we go, that's the one I used. It's entirely up to you again, of course, what you use. All right, so that's the basis of our first module there. And now we want to sort of style the text and the pricing. And to do that, we just want to save our module. So click the little check mark right here. And now in the main module, the Supreme Price List Settings module, let's go to the design. This way it, it becomes common throughout. And firstly, let's do the title text, which is the New York strip here. I'm going to make it this sort of handwriting font that we've got going on here. And if you scroll down, when you actually highlight one of these, it'll show you what the font actually looks like. And I can't remember which one I used. I may have to look, but I think there was a nice handwriting one down here somewhere. There are so many of them built into the, the Divi theme as default. There it is. What about that one? Was it that one? Let's try it. No, I don't think it was that one. I think it was that one, actually. That script one right there. Okay, that was it. All right. That's the right script. Regular, I don't think these handwriting scripts look good in bold. I mean, if you look at it in bold, it just looks too too big to me. It looks like you're writing with a crayon, perhaps. <laughs> Font style. Um, I think I used italic. No, I didn't. I think it was regular. Okay. Color blue. And I think I left it at that regular size. If you want to make it bigger, obviously do that smaller do that I think it's 26 letter spacing i'm not going to change it i'm quite happy with that zero picks but you can spread it out if you like to do that so there's our title i'm not going to give it any text shadow because that will just complicate the issue with that handwriting text in in my opinion Okay, description text. I think I used a different font and made that italic. So let's have a look. Description font. Yeah, I used that Verdana. And I made it italic. So it's slightly skewed. And I made it black. I might have made it semi-bold looking at that. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks about right. So that's our description text taken care of. And of course, the next thing we need to do is the pricing. So if we scroll on down, here's the pricing text options. Okay, firstly, let's bring the size up. Something like that. Letter spacing, again, I'll leave that the same. Line height, I'll leave that the same. But I do want to change the color to blue. And it looks like I made that semi-bold bold also. 
or semi bold. Let's make it italic and let's make it semi bold. And there you have it. That's how to style your little pricing thing to get it like that. So now we've done that one, all we need to do to get the rest of them is just clone this module. So I'm going to clone it twice. And simply go in there to your next one and put your next item in. Click on the text box, 1649, 116.49. That's a pretty expensive piece of fish right there. Mediterranean salmon. And description text. Image. There's my salmon. Save that one. And lastly, the chicken, whatever it was, chicken vodka. Okay, now I'm hungry. And the price was twelve seventy five. Simply put in our description text again. I'm just copying and pasting from that little text pad and simply update the image. We've done all the work with the first one there. So we're just copying and pasting, which is very handy. Okay. Let's find that chicken. There we are. And there we have it. Job done. Nice little descriptive menu. Like I say, for a restaurant, that's ideal, but very easy if you've got a WooCommerce type store, you can make these and make these images. So if I go back in there, you can make those images link or the whole module link to wherever you want. So you can link them to a product quite easily. Exit our visual builder after saving. There we have it. Very easy, nice looking little menu for you there. So there you have it using the Divi Supreme modules plugin. It's free, so why not use it? I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there. We've also got some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.